G. Gordon Liddy. I don't know what the G stands for. Yes, sir, I definitely think you should meet with him. I've interviewed him, and I think he's our man. Mr. Liddy. <laughs> he's expecting us. Mr. Liddy's here. Thank you. Gordon, good to see you. Sit down. Sorry to bust in on you, John. Not at all. The fact is, I need some help. Well, I hope you've come to the right place. Jeb Stewart Magruder, my nominal superior, is an idiot. He's going around introducing me as his man in charge of dirty tricks. You're kidding. Control him, John. That innocent amateur is going to blow my cover. Amateur, yes. Innocent, no. I'll talk to him later. Anything else? Well, I've been analyzing the intelligence requirements for the campaign. Mm -hmm. Big operation. Oh, I know. What kind of budget do you think I should present to Mr. Mitchell? Well, I don't know, Gordon. Caulfield was talking about a half a million for Sandwich. I guess you can go that high, maybe higher if you could justify it. I appreciate your candor, John. What happened to your hand? Oh, nothing really. I look serious. Well, some might feel that way. I don't. It was necessary, you see, that I prove my strength to the men that I'm recruiting to assist me at the convention. What do you mean, prove your strength? Well, in my business, it's important that the men I work with understand that I'm a man of strength, what my Cubans call macho. So to prove myself to them, I held my hand over a flame till the flesh burned. I did that without wincing. I wanted them to know that I can stand any amount of physical pain. Well, so long, John. So long, Gordon. And thank you. Not at all. Thank you. Jane? Jane, are you there? Uh, yes, John. Yeah, would you get me Jeb Magruder, please? And stay away from Gordon Liddy. <laughs> 